Hello friends, how are y'all doing today? Well today I wanted to um, let you know that I do have uh, pictures that I took on uh, my cell phone, um, or a picture I should say, of the full moon for April the 29th of 2018. And uh, I want to let you know that um, that fulfilled a vision that the Lord gave me right before Donald Trump was inaugurated as president. I was fasting and praying for seven days and nights and I really wanted this job. That's how it all started me fasting and praying and I wanted this job at Bucky's and um, but I didn't know that it wasn't the Lord's will that I have that job and for whatever his reasoning was, he showed me I couldn't have it in uh, two visions. <laughs> anyway, I have videos on of that on Nets of Hope. Uh, you'll have to check those out. Look for uh, the vision of the stone white tablets. And then I talk about the Bucky's job and the visions that God gave me uh, for the Bucky's job. Uh, I wanted to explain to you about dreams and visions uh, because a lot of people are very leery about listening to anyone with a dream or a vision. Well, I would be leery too. First of all, you need to weigh to the right and to the left while you're listening to the dream or to the vision. You need to really think about what's being said and you need to make sure for yourself that it is spiritual and that it has meaning to edify the church, Christians, or a warning from the Holy Spirit, and which is from the Heavenly Father, which comes from the Father, the Lord Jesus, and then it goes to the heaven, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, I know that for a fact, if you will look at the dream on Nets of Hope, um, that's the dream of the living cloud of fire the living trinity was used in that dream now i would never ever to be able to be able to even dream up such a dream it's powerful it has spiritual meaning to it uh it's full of scripture uh as far as the cloud of fire that's in scripture in the book of numbers the Lord Jesus, he's throughout all the New Testament, and he was talked about as uh, coming uh, to us and to this world through the prophets of the Old Testament. So there's scripture in the cloud of fire, there's in the book of Numbers, there's scripture throughout the whole Bible about the Lord Jesus, there's scripture talking about the Trinity, and that there'll be a day and time after Christ dies that the Helper will be sent to us, and that the Holy Spirit once he's given to us that this is how the Father will speak to us. There is scripture written in the book of John chapter 16 verses 12 through 15 and I'm going to do some videos on that here in a minute and actually read it in detail. But this video is just to kind of help those as these videos are spreaded throughout YouTube. It kind of helps a person to get to know me to get to know uh, dreams and visions? Am I just dreaming this up or is it from God? We should all weigh everything to the right and left of rapture dreams that are coming down the line, dreams and visions from your neighbor, a church member, a friend, a coworker. You should weigh every one of them and you should really look at them and see. And the Holy Spirit will help you to recognize, are they spiritual? Do they have value? Do they have meaning? Anyway, the dream of the living cloud of fire, the uh, living trinity was used in that. And let me explain how. The Heavenly Father was inside the cloud of fire to keep me from dying in the dream because the Bible clearly says no one can see God. So I believe that God himself uses this living cloud of fire to contain his holy, white, bright light that if it is his will to present himself to anyone as the cloud of fire, they will not die. And that's exactly what he did with the children of Israel in the book of Numbers, 
He traveled to and fro uh, on the face of the earth uh, back in Moses' day, and it never said anything about any of the people dying from looking at the cloud of fire. So I know that I can physically look at the cloud of fire. I've seen it now myself, and I never ever would have imagined in my life that God would have chose me to have shown me such a dream, but he did, and I have to accept it, move forward, and know that he had plans for me. Uh, he's using me for a great ministry because I am meek, and I am humble. I'm not rich. Uh, I am a hard uh, worker in America. I was born in America, and uh, matter of fact, in Houston, Texas, in the West Little York Hospital, but I was raised a country girl in Nacogdoches, Texas, and Douglas, Texas. Um, my mother was born in SeaTac, uh, Texas. My dad was born in Lawton, Oklahoma, on a military base. Uh, so uh, my family goes all over. But anyway, back to the point. Uh, the point is, uh, dreams and visions are spiritual, and the Holy Spirit was, has been given to us. It says in Scripture that he can warn us. He can warn us only through the scripture of John 16, 12 through 15. He can only warn us as the Father ordains it, as the Father wills it, as the Father needs to warn an individual, a church, a family, a nation, um, as a disaster is coming, whatever the reason is, the Heavenly Father uses the Holy Spirit to warn. So I'm encouraging you, please, go to Nets of Hope, listen to the dreams and visions about America, listen to the warnings, and please listen to these new videos that I will be sending uh, today as downloads, and I'm hoping that everything goes well as I begin to start doing all of that. For now, I want to end this video, but please follow each and every video. You should be seeing pictures soon and very soon of the comet of August, I mean, of uh, April the 29th of 2018. Uh, and I will let you know this, there was an extra object in the picture, and I was blown away when I zoomed in, and I don't know um, truly what is it. It looks like an asteroid. A huge asteroid. It is the size of the comet. And that's pretty scary. And it's not very far away from the magnetic pull of the comet. And it wasn't very far away from the moon in the picture. Uh, I do know that there is a huge asteroid mentioned in Revelations 8. So I don't know what God's plans are, but I have a feeling that after the rapture, possibly, um, that this could be Revelations 8 in the heavens. I really don't know the mind of God, but I am supposed to warn you, according to the book of Ezekiel, to turn from your sins and backsliders turn back to God and repent. And I'm to warn the Christian that we must get up, we must be busy, and we must serve our Lord and tell everyone about Jesus Christ before it's too late. Thank you and listen to the next video. Follow me on Nets of Hope and listen to every video there. Please comment and let me know how I may help you or if you need any information or help, I'll be glad to help you. But please listen to all the videos on Nets of Hope before you start asking me a multitude of questions. I have a lot of people that will listen to one warning video and they won't listen to all and I don't have time to answer all your questions. Watch the videos first. Then ask questions if you have them. But I'm trying to give you all the information that the Father's giving me to warn America He's coming. Thank you.